Welcome to Dubai. Dubai, it's the city I thought I knew but I'm discovering in a whole new way. Today I'm giving myself a budget of $100 to see just what I can get in a single day. Dubai is known to be an expensive city and it's known for luxury malls and fancy restaurants. But today I'm realizing there is a lot more to it than that. Dubai is a city in the United Arab Emirates with a population of over 3 million people. But around 9 in 10 of them are here from other countries, making it really one of the most diverse places on earth. I wake up with zero appetite today so I skip breakfast and get ready to start my day. I've been in Dubai several times before and we all know it's famous for its luxurious lifestyle with the skyscrapers and tall buildings. But now I'm going to go to some other low-key unseen parts of Dubai. This is called the Old Souk. I take a taxi and go straight there. I'm gonna add all transportation fees at the end of the video. What I love about this part of Dubai is the authenticity it has. It's totally not what most of us think. I take a ferry to go to the other side, which is the souk itself. And I know I said I'm gonna mention the transportation fees later, but I've got to tell you. The price of a ride here is one dirham, which is about 25 cents. But make sure you actually have the one dirham coin because I only have 200 and obviously he doesn't have change for 200 dirham. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. A ride on the ferry, 25 cents. Most places in Dubai do accept credit card, but if you're coming to this area, you will want to have cash because a lot of the shops, the stands, and especially the boat rides will only take cash. I ended up finding some coins so I was able to pay. Not everything you see in Dubai is a brand new fancy mall. This is actually a souk and it feels like something I would see in Morocco or Turkey and it's really quite cool. And if you come to Dubai for shopping, you'll find a lot better deals and bargains here than of course the mall. This for instance is under $3. While walking through the old souk, I stumble upon a fresh juice shop and decide to get that vitamin C in my system. Fresh squeezed orange juice in Dubai, $3. That tastes nice. I'm really surprised that this is Dubai. After exploring around the souk, I start to get hungry by now, so I spot this restaurant. The menu is packed. Literally, they have Indian food, Chinese, Middle Eastern, burgers, and sandwiches. So what is the most local food? Like, I want, like, Emirates food, you see? Emirates food. Yeah, Emirates food is uh, the burger, combos. Well, he says burgers, but I'm gonna try local Emirati fish and rice. I see why he's making the joke because it is hard to find local cuisine here. They eat a lot of Lebanese or American or Italian. They have global cuisine here. While I'm waiting for lunch, I try this. It's called Karak and it's a famous melt tea that's common throughout the Gulf region. It tastes super fresh. Local fish, fries, and a little bit of hummus, $10. By the way, this is a good time to tell you, you really don't need a SIM card in Dubai because everywhere you walk into, except for this place, like most malls or restaurants, has free Wi-Fi and it is super easy to access. After this lunch, I head to this place called Kite Beach to meet some of my friends. Who says everything in Dubai has to be expensive? Some stuff is even free. There's a kind of challenge that the government organized to encourage people to be healthy. It's called Dubai 30 by 30 and it basically means free outdoor gym classes like yoga, cycling, many more. I joined this yoga class. The price? Free. I hang out and relax, then I have a reservation to go to the top of Burj Khalifa, which I'm quite excited for. Alright, so I've taken a shower, gotten some rest, and now I'm about to go on the top of this building. Yes, it is the tallest building in the world still. When you come, you can get a ticket on arrival, but the line is going to be a lot longer. So I got a ticket in advance online. There is still a line, but it's a little bit shorter. We just got up to 125 floors in the sky. My ears are popping and that whole thing took like 30 seconds. Below me is the world's largest mall and let me just tell you, it's huge, absolutely huge. This is an overall really cool experience but if you're afraid of heights, you'll probably wanna avoid this. It's crazy to think that this building only started construction around 2004 
and the building was completed in 2008, 2009. So it's crazy to think that just 15, 20 years ago, most of these buildings did not exist. It was simply just desert. There's a relatively new place called Time Out Market Dubai, and that's right down here. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go there now. I'm on the 125th floor right now, and I hope that these aren't the stairs to the bottom, because I'm really not up for that challenge to walk down that many flights of stairs. Overall, this is a really cool experience. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, you should definitely come. One thing that's quite fascinating to me is that this building is over 10 years old, and for the past 10 years, it's been able to maintain its status as the world's tallest building. So just think about that. I think a lot of us thought maybe after five years or so, there would be a new building somewhere around the world that would outdo this one, but it's not. And there's not really any signs that, uh, that this will get overtaken. I mean, there are some, there are rumors that a building in Saudi will overtake this called Jeddah Tower. And there are even plans for a building here in Dubai to overtake this one. I made a whole other video about that. Go check it out. One last thing about this experience is, I'll be honest, it's actually cooler for me to go to the top of the Empire State Building or the top of the rock in New York City. Because even though this is higher than those buildings, the view only matters so much. What really matters is what you have to look at. Because New York City has so many buildings everywhere you look, it's actually a much cooler experience than this one. So if it's something you're interested in, do it. But like I said, I would, if given the choice between like Empire State Building or a skyscraper in New York versus this, I would actually pick New York. The price to go to the world's tallest building is $45. I'm a bit hungry now, so I go to this brand new place called Time Out Market. It's basically different cuisines all under one roof. I see pizza, sushi, and burgers, but I'm drawn toward this place that says Emirati Seafood. I found a station that is actually Emirati. It says Emirati Seafood, so I'm excited to try it. All right, so they give you a buzzer, and then you can go and pick a place to find a seat. I really actually love the vibes in Time Out Market. I mean, technically it is a food court, but it feels like an elevated, sort of luxurious food court. They even have a bar, so you'll, it's one of the few places in Dubai that you'll find with alcohol outside of hotels, of course. Emirati Seafood from Time Out Market in Dubai Mall, $15. Okay, before I pour this into the food, I'm gonna make sure it's not spicy because my tolerance for spice is very low, so I uh, gotta be careful in this part of the world. Mm. That is delicious. Fish in downtown Dubai for $15 is a pretty good deal. Both of these sauces were super spicy, so I'm glad I tasted it before I added it to the food because I was literally about to just go to town. After the dinner, I see this amazing water fountain show. It's famous here in downtown and you can catch it every 30 minutes at night. I really feel like some dessert and I spot my favorite restaurant from my childhood growing up in the US, so I walk into the Cheesecake Factory. A little piece of America in Dubai. I got some cheesecake and the price, $6. So today I took a combination of taxis and the public metro. It's super easy to use. If I want to add up all my transportation from that, that will cost $20. So I did it. I spent $100 in Dubai without overspending. I got to see other parts of Dubai that I usually haven't seen and check out some places I've always wanted to visit like the Burj Khalifa. Go check out some other places I visited and see how I spent my budget like $30 in Turkey or $100 in New York. While here at it, subscribe to my channel, follow me online for more videos about money, and hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Upton.